Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn about writing content the right way for the web. I want you to think of yourself as an artist and you're going to paint a picture here or illustrate a point. So we're going to start with some black and white strokes, the sketching if you will, and um, remind yourself that great writing is about preparation, great content is about planning, and so with these black and white strokes we'll provide some guidelines for the work you're going to do before you actually start writing. I want you to zero in on your goal. The discipline of writing content it may resemble journalism, probably more so than advertising, but you need to remind yourself what you're doing is marketing. So you need to align your broad and specific objectives. You're looking for the reader to respond. So examine these objectives in a broader sense and then specifically for the content that you're going to create and zero in on that goal of the piece you're planning to write. Next you'll uncover the pain. And remind yourself again that content marketing is about delivering value. I like to define it as simply as three words, proactively answering questions. I want you to think of yourself as a friend to the reader. What do your friends do? They help you. And the good ones are good listeners. They get you and they have a handle on your problems. They know what causes you pain and what gives you pleasure. So rather than thinking of what you're going to do as content, which is kind of cold, think of it as delivering advice. You have to know the turf, and by that I mean where will your reader encounter your content. This might not be a singular answer, and it might be a little mysterious, but you have to dig into that. If you're going to be a valuable resource, you'll want to map your content to a media-driven strategy. So identify a realistic time and place where the interaction is going to occur. And to the degree that you can, you should focus on where and when, and some why factors to increase the relevance of your content. You need to have a meaningful message. Content creators that wing it fail miserably. This is a dangerous and unproductive strategy. Each chunk of content you create should be an ingredient in a big picture recipe. In other words, your micro message should map to your company's macro message and it's vital to have a brand story. And each chapter you write should support that story. And research is required. So you're gonna look into it. You're gonna do some digital digging online. It's Good to get a sense for who's doing what in the space. You want to know where the action is, what's old, what's new, who's influential uh, in terms of individuals, publishers, companies, organizations. Thoroughly research your competition, of course, and fi familiarize yourself with their tactics and their tone. The idea is to identify how you're going to tell a unique story. All right, it's time for the colorful part. Get your pens out, or get your pencils out, and uh, we're gonna colorize the story. It's time to write. It's time to make your content come alive. You ready to have some fun? Here we go. Hit your headline hard. Your headline is all important. This is what's going to get served when people search. It's what's gonna get shown on social media and shared, you hope. So imagine you're throwing a party. Not only do you want to have a great big turnout, you want to pack the place with a like-minded crowd. Think of your headline as the invitation. You have to rock it. Make it clear this party can't be missed. Make a promise. Tantalize. Tease. Touch a nerve. Now here's some advice you've probably read and heard before. Stop talking about yourself. Get over yourself. Marketing 101. The sure way to lose your reader is to fixate on the wrong subject, which is your company. You really will not turn on a single soul when you're talking about your brand or your product. No matter what story you're going to tell, the main character is the reader. Make you your most used word because your reader's favorite subject is him or herself. That's just the way it is. Now somebody's into your story, your headline worked. Get them to nod. You have your reader and they're focused on your message now, but you can still lose them if you fail to connect. So pose a question or make a statement that induces a, yeah, yeah, that's me. Get them nodding. Let your reader know you're going on a journey together. They're in the right place. Elicit feelings. Your reader processes information through emotion first and reasoning second. You heard that right. Emotion first. 
So great writing should stimulate the limbic system. Sorry to get all brainy and anatomical on you. I'm talking about the subcortex section of the brain, the center of desire and motivation. You want to string your words together in an effort to elicit feelings. This is advice sometimes you'll get when you're uh, learning how to speak. You'll want to make eye contact with somebody in the audience that you're comfortable with. I like to say, same goes for writing. Write to a friend. Maybe you can't get it going. The words aren't flowing. Your stuff's sounding kind of stuffy. All this stuff traces to overthinking it, and it makes you nervous. Go after your content fearlessly, with flair, and without formality. Nix the formality. Just address a person, a friend. Make it someone you find it easy to speak to, and start typing the way you'd talk. Activate your copy with verbs. I want you to be economical with your use of adjectives. Rookie writers always, it feels like they're coming out of a creative writing course and they're just overindulging on, on fluffy ver, um, adjectives that aren't necessary. It's the verbs that you want to use vigorously. Look at uh, what I've done so far with this presentation. Each slide starts off with an active verb. Hit, get, write, elicit, aim. Punch, there's another one. Punch the engagement ticket with action. Express yourself. The only writer you're gonna remember is the one whose voice is as unique as his or her fingerprints. So put your fingerprints on it. There's one Shakespeare, there's one Mark Twain, and there's one you. So find your voice and pour it into your prose. Technobabble is a major buzzkill. Speak human being. No matter how much you love your industry's jargon, put a lid on the lingo and can the cliche stuff. Don't dumb it down like you've heard so often before, but be natural. Little words, big ideas. It's no coincidence that you rarely remember a content writer. They rarely give you something to remember them by. Lighten up, make jokes, be cheeky, use rhetorical questions and have some fun. If you have a sense of humor, use it. You'll get remembered by it. What's the point of content with no point of view? If you have a point, take a stance. Put your opinion in play. Forgive my crudeness here, but grow a pair. Break up your stuff. Readers are going to hunt for content in full speed skim mode. We all know that. We're, we're busy. We're online. We're skimming. But get your hooks in them and they'll slow down and they'll take it in. So accommodate those flying all eyeballs by breaking up your pieces with short passages, lists, images, captions, callouts, inject subheads, and try to chapterize your story and captivate the reader. Speaking of stories, tell stories. You'll likely want to please the masses with how-to pieces and lists and predictions and other such staples of the content marketing world. But challenge yourself to be a storyteller too. Use the usual elements of storytelling. You've got time, place, characters, conflict, resolution, and epi an epilogue. Take the readers on a journey by storytelling. Arouse. If that sounds kind of sexy, I guess that's because I wanted to. Great writing will feature cliffhangers. So as the writer, you want to build curiosity, foreshadow, surprise, hit the skids, derail the route with a radical twist. Do what you can to make eyes dilate and hearts pound. Surprise your audience. And be a teacher. Just as advertising is preaching, Content marketing is really teaching. Your mission is to educate and entertain. I'm not saying you'll never talk about your brand. I'm saying you'll never build an audience if it's all you talk about. Share your knowledge generously and deliver value. Converse. It'll serve your content writing well to write conversationally. Ask your readers to ask you questions. Add comments and join the new media interaction party. Call for action. This is how you end your piece. This is how I'm ending 
my presentation and lesson today. You've heard it before a million times. You can wrap up your piece with a zesty zinger, but there is no, quote, the end, unquote. You're a marketer. It's motion you're going to measure. It's action. So don't say goodbye. Tell your reader what to do next. Sign up. Share this. Download. Learn. Register. Try it. Buy it. There we go. It's a wrap now. You've written content the right way, and your readers are going to respond. Thank you for listening. I'm Barry of Feldman Creative. I'm a content marketer, copywriter. I'm a creative director. You can find me here if you have questions. I thank you very much for your time today, and I hope I've taught you something.